Hi guys and welcome to week 6. Today we'll be discussing form in music. So according to the syllabus, a musical form or structure is the plan or design of a musical work, often defined by identifying sections of the work and describing the similarities and differences between these sections. Musical form is basically how a composer has organised their ideas. Much like a narrative uh, or an English essay, there are set rules and structures that composers use to complete their compositions. Today we're going to be using the following. Binary, both simple and rounded. Ternary, rondo and through composed. These forms are used in a number of ways. Sometimes they lay the foundation for an entire movement of a symphony or provide the structure for a small piano piece. We'll examine the forms within the context of our Mozart symphony. Some things to note before we continue. Whilst these forms are used throughout Western art music, composers often break the rules, and that's when music becomes interesting. When we label sections, we're mostly looking at the melodic content, and we take into consideration the key of a section. We label these using capital letters, A, B, C, etc., moving to a new letter each time a new melody appears. When a melody returns, we use the letter assigned to it earlier, sometimes within a little apostrophe to indicate any changes. First up, binary. Binary form is the organisation of a musical work into two contrasting sections, A and B, both of which are usually repeated. In binary form, we expect the harmony of each section to move one of two ways. If we begin the A section in the major, the B section is normally the dominant. If we begin the A section in the minor, the B section is normally in the relative major. We're going to take a look at the following example. The first section is clearly in the key of G minor. We've got a B flat and an E flat in the key signature, but F sharps do appear throughout the melody. It only goes on for eight bars, or two musical phrases, with a repeat in the ninth bar back to the beginning. The second section begins in B flat major. It has some of the similar melodic content, but it very clearly changes and develops. It moves on, continuing throughout, and eventually gets back to G minor. But the original melody does not return. This is clearly a simple binary piece. Ternary form is the organisation of a musical work into three sections, with a contrasting section in between two repeated sections. So we call it A, B, A. As the name suggests, with three distinct sections, the return of the A section comes back in its entirety at the end of the composition. The composition also should return to the original key. Take a look at your example. This is an excerpt of one of Mozart's piano sonatas.
The first two systems are in the key of E flat major. In the middle section, we're in the key of B flat major. We can see at the end that the melody returns in its entirety and is pretty much unchanged from the beginning. We've returned to the original key. There's another form called rounded binary, which has some similarities to ternary form in that the A melody returns, but the key difference is that it doesn't return in its entirety, only a small section of it does. We often see this in the movements within a minuet or a trio. Take a look at the example in your work package. Our first section goes for eight bars or nine bars and has a little repeat at the end. And then the second section has contrasting melodic material and a different texture as well. We no longer have the Alberti bass. Phrase four, the Alberti bass re returns and the original melody returns also, but not for the full nine bars in its original. It's actually just the opening first four bars. Because the melody is returned, but not in its entirety, it's still called a binary form, but we call it rounded binary because we've got a little cap on the end.